What's up guys, it's Zed and this is part 1 of season 7 of the Create a Club Caramel that I'm on. And in the last episode, one of you in the comment section said that um, Haaland was an unnecessary signing, but it actually wasn't because um, for the entirety of the first half of last season, I mean, our team didn't do really well through the simulations. I mean, I needed a player that could score goals. And um, Haaland is just a player. I mean, I could have put in Haaland and Mbappe or Vlahovic, but I chose Haaland because he's the he's just my favorite out of those three. And uh, I wouldn't say that Fonseca doesn't score goals. He does, yeah. But for some reason, he was not scoring as many goals as he normally does last season. And the team was losing lots of matches, drawing lots of matches, and that is what that is what cost us the La Liga champ title last season. So. I just feel like Haaland, I mean, you guys saw that Haaland um, uh, got 18 goals at the end of last season, even though he just came at the second half. So, I feel like he might just be a necessary addition to the team in order for us to at least get a treble that we've been looking forward for so long. Speaking of necessary additions, I also want to add Karim Adeyemi, Edward Kamavinga, and I might probably not buy this keeper because Vandre is okay. To me, the transfer offer for Zhao Cancelo, and I actually wanted him to retire in our club, but uh, I don't think that's very necessary. So I'm just going to try and get the highest amount I could possibly get from that deal, as well as accept. Oh, um, Torino actually offered, and they we have both settled for 10 million pounds for him, and then for this guy, Stan Mertens, I'm just going to accept because I mean he's just bad <laughs> still a very good player so i think i would go for um this guy first kamavinga the team will not sell this player he's too important to the club okay that's just bullshit ah oh, fucking hell <laughs> how do you fuck you're gonna see that but um jamie bino gittins he's going to be a good um sub for the left and right so i guess i might need him because Funny enough, this guy doesn't actually have a replacement in case of anything. Um, what's his face? German. So I guess this guy will just be a good addition to the team. And I'm just going to go with this. I'm going to delegate. I'm not going into any in-depth um, negotiation for now. Um, as for Karim Adeyemi, I, might, I don't want to spend up to 100. So I will wait here. What did the board say? All right, 87. But I'm going to start the offer at 85 and I'm not going to go higher than, than 100. So I'm trying to overload my team with squad depth. All right, Crystal Palace has accepted 22.5 million. I'm going to accept that. So Cantelli will be on his way out of our team. Then it's just a couple, a couple loan offers for a couple of the youth players I brought in last season and transfer offer for Korea as well yeah I'm just I'm just going to try and get the most out of that deal Marseille still wants to give 13 million for Korea I'm not going to I'm not going to argue with that so 13 million it is and then for this offer for Karibadi I kind of botched it I, do, I don't know when when it happened I don't know when they um, accepted the deal that I made before so I mean, I, I still, I still really want to buy Kamavinga. I don't know why the fuck I can't. It says Juventus doesn't have that much squad depth. That's the fucking business, man. I don't really care about their lack of squad depth. I just want to buy a fucking player. All right, so I'm just going to wait a bit for Karim Adeyemi's stuff to come back, and then uh, I'll be good. Wait, how much do I have? Do I have 459 currently? So I think, I think that. I mean, since Kamavinga is a no-go, I think I would go for someone else. Ryan Gravenberch. I think you should be or 89. Okay, so please tell me I can buy him. They're asking price is 136. That is fucking large. That is fucking large. Alright, so what is his, his thing? 96. Alright, so I'm going to start at 96. Nobody just stress me. Oh, 96, sorry. Let's just start at 95 and then do not go higher than 130. I think I think that should be okay. 
for Ryan Gravenberch. Before we go into the transfer hub, I just want to show you guys that we did win the preseason. We won every single match. 3-1 to Juventus, 3-1 to West Ham, and 4-1 to Bayer Leverkusen. And I feel like that is all Haaland's doing for some reason. I mean, it might not be, but I just feel like um, Haaland being in this team will just make everything a lot better. So, I think you can see it from here. Yeah, he scored four goals. Fonseca scored three. So, I mean, they basically are the ones that... They basically... Um, and German scored one. So, those three people basically just carry the entire team throughout throughout the preseason. I feel, I feel like they won it. So, an offer for um, Roberto Cortez. One year accepts. For Peters. Two years. Then, let's look at the ones that are important so there is a swap deal for Zaratio I'm not going to accept that Zaratio is really important to my team then one more loan for you I don't really care about the loan offers that much transfer offer for Florian Pritz I might actually I might actually need this I mean he's a really good player he's a really fucking good player but I'm bringing Gravin Birch I'm selling Batch yeah let's just do the Batch one first 50.9 million all right, so okay, so this is one I'm actually I actually have to rack my brain on. Do I want to sell him? Do I not want to sell him? Ah oh, fuck! If I sell him, I would get a lot of money. Gravenberg is the same age, a little bit older, but 89. So you know what? I don't think it's worth it to sell him. At least, at least not yet. I have Pedri. No, I'm, I'm just not going to. I, I can't bring myself to sell him, so I'm not, I'm not going to do it. As for grabbing bridge, I fucked that one up again because I simulate a week ahead from the calendar. So I guess um the deals are getting um done way earlier. So they just cancel it. I, I don't know why they're fucking canceling so early. So I'm I'll have another chance at um Karimadeemi here. What did I do before? Um 75 and not not over 100. I think that's what I did. Not sure. Yeah, not over 100 and i'll i'll try and do the the, the grabbing merch one again hopefully it works out this time so korea has officially left the team to marseille for 13 million pounds it's an a deal that's good so i guess we didn't really need to get as much as i was asking for spurs want to buy Vardio. that's not going to happen Vardio is like my best fucking player so I'm not I'm not I'm not doing that in any way whatsoever and then Wolves have accepted for 42.8 million for Batch and I would accept that so he might be leaving our team if he if the whole thing works out for him so I hope it does and I wish him the best of luck all right so Adeyemi's purchase has been done they agreed for how much 93.7 all right that's 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 doable that's doable so I'm going to accept and then delegate his wages he's currently getting 155 so i think i can do way better than that let's give him 180 and let's just see how that works out for him Bart has now left the team for 42.8 million to wolves and it was an ad obviously yes we did get the best possible deal there so i think i want to check if the Gravenberg deal is done. I think I can check from here, right? Okay. Oh, oh, oh sir, it's not ready yet. It's not ready for me to like try and do a deal again. I'm, we are so close to the start of the league, and I want to like finish all the transfers before we start. But I guess that is not going to happen. We might probably get Karimadeyemi before um the thing starts. That's another guy that's leaving the team, Nacho Alvarado, um, going on a two-year loan to Independiente. I don't know if I pronounced that right or wrong, really don't know. And then Roberto Cortez as well is also leaving for 12 months to, I, I didn't see that team, I think it was FC Mets, probably. And then Adeyemi has accepted his offer for £180,000, that is good. And he is now the latest striker in our team. Korea is going to, I mean, he's a... I think I think he's going to be he's I think he's a suitable replacement for Korea. I mean he's better, he's younger, so I'm I'm pretty content with that deal. So what I would want to know is if it's an A or not. Hopefully it is an A. And yes it is. It is. So that is good for me. And then the I still can't get um Kamavinga, that sucks. So for the Gravenbridge deal, probably won't be able to um
the players don't feel as if you go, you've got to be kidding me. You have got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Vitina is the person that I choose to buy, and he is a little bit on the older side, but he will last the remaining four seasons. I guess he will be 32 by the by the time we're ending the series. So I'm going to delegate, obviously. Oh wait, let me just approach to buy. Let's do this as fast as possible so that I can buy all the players that so I can get all the players that I set out to get. So his thing is 80, 88. So I'm going to start off at 85. And then I'm not going to do the salon clause just yet. Oh wow. So that feel like straight away. <laughs> that was bad. Alright, so I'll, I'm, I'm I'm going to wait. Probably to after the Real Madrid match before I uh go for that deal again so i hope i do hope that um our team does well for the very first match of the season please come on fingers crossed all right yes we do that is a close win 3-2 to getafe i mean it could have it could have probably been a lot better than that the first match we're going to be playing is against real madrid and they're obviously going to be using their away kits and i just want to, to show, show you guys the new kits for this new season we have the home jersey we're still using Nike. We're going to be using Nike to the end of this of this series. So this is it. The all white, obviously, and then it has the um, diagonal stripes of gold and blue on the on the shirt. And then for the away kit, it's the navy blue. It's basically navy blue, a little bit of grey, and and a little bit dark navy blue. I don't know what the fuck that color is called, but the kit looks absolutely fucking sick. And then for the away kit, I re sorry, the alternate kit, I really really love this one. It's all black. It's all black, and it has the um white and black thing sorry white and gold thing on the left and right i don't know how to explain it but it looks really good and also the pattern on the, of the black is also really really good so I'm not going to waste too much time on the kits and let's look at how i want to line up i guess i'm not going to make any changes but who the fuck is ramos though like who the fuck is that Did I sell someone that shouldn't have sold? Wait, where, where is Aracho? Where the fuck is Aracho? Did I fucking sell Zaracho? So Zaracho is actually he's actually not in the team. He's actually not in the team. And in the in the transfer hub, it's not showing. Wait, so let's look at the transfer history real quick. For my team, alone, please. I fucking sold Zara. When the fuck did this happen? Was it like a release clause or something? Like when when the actual fuck did this happen? Oh my fucking god. I mean I rejected that deal, did I not? Right, so well that happened. I I don't even know how the fuck that happened, but it's happened. Something I can do about it. Let's just move on. That is really fucking sad. The thing is, I'm pretty sure I rejected that offer from Spurs, but my controller probably went back up after I went down to reject the offer, and I did not notice that until just now. Fucking hell, that's that's that is bad. That is, that is really bad. He's going to be really missed. It's going to be really fucking missed. All right, so we have our first counter attack here. Haaland and Fonseca. I'm going to give it to Fonseca and he should probably not have any troubles. Obviously not. I don't know if he uses right leg or left leg there, but I mean, he does get the goal. That's what is important. I can't believe he's already 37 minutes into the, into the match. And we have a, a fairly good chance here, but we don't have a lot of players in the box, so I guess I'm actually going to go all the way with um, with Mr. German here. I think I think it might actually work out. It might be on target, it might not be on target, but let's see. Hopefully it's not too high. It was actually really fucking close. Really, really, really close. Alright, so... Um, Vinicius has a fairly dangerous 
counter attack right now and oh my god that that is fucking brilliant that was fucking brilliant but thank god we were able to 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 um counter that and not concede but i would like to not concede for the rest of this match Okay, that was really really fucking wild and we have one last chance for a goal here i think Haaland. i don't think he's in a good position oh he is in a good position so i mean they're both going to be scoring that's what i like to see and yeah so this is actually why i wanted to get Haaland. i mean Fonseca could have gotten both goals if Haaland was on this team but the purpose of getting Haaland isn't to score goals in the matches I play, it's to score goals in the matches I don't play. And he proved that a lot last season, like in the second half of last season. And I feel like he would be able to prove the same for this series and for the entirety of the rest of the series. Oh, it was a fucking release clause. It was a freaking release clause. Oh my god. So we win against Rio Vallecano. So that's three, three wins in three matches. So that's a really good start to the league. Hopefully we can actually, um, hopefully we can, I, I, I forgot what I wanted to say, <laughs> sorry, um, hopefully we can um, carry that run the form into the rest of the season. So for this Bettinia thing, I really want to do this as fast as possible. So I'm just going to go for 100 straight off the bat. You know what, not 100, that's too much. Let's just go for 92. 95 straight off the bat. Hopefully these guys do not fucking humiliate me. I want a 15% sell on clause and What the fuck? They're still not you know what fuck these guys. I'm I don't fucking care. I Wanted I wanted I wanted like Squad depth for some reason. It's not it's not working out. So I'm just going to search these this thing for Someone that I, I would want to buy someone I want to bring to the team. I have no idea who it is yet, but uh I mean, let's just let's just wait and see. So I got a couple of players that I would like to bring to the team, and the thing is that look, Kamavinga, the thing is ready now. So I mean, I might want to get him, but I found someone that I would much much prefer to bring into the team, and that is Mason Mount. He's on the older side, so I'm not really looking for um, young players right now. I'm looking for like people that are a little bit on the older side. So I feel like either Shaparenko or Mason Mount would be good, but Mason Mount is obviously the better player, so I would. I would um, go for him so he's he's valued at 67.5 million so that is good enough for me and let's try to lift this up to 80 let's see if I can try and nab the deal with this 10% salon clause all right so they want Jacob Stewart. Obviously not going to do that. Remove exchange player, please. What the hell are you asking for, Jacob Stewart? Alright, so let's bump this up to 82. And let's see what they want. 85 with a 5% sell-on clause. I'm going to get the sell-on clause back to 15. And see if uh, I can still work with 82 million. Alright, I feel like... Alright, so they, they agree to it. And I, Macy Mount is now going to be a player in our team. Let's negotiate his wages real quick and we will be going straight into the season. Um, rotation, obviously, he's not going to play a lot over um, Florian Vitt and what's his face? And Pedri. I'm not, going to, I'm not going to agree for a release clause. And then for his wages, let's just give him 100,000 100, pounds. And all right, so they do agree for it. So Macy Mount is now the latest player in our team. And I feel like it's a good signing. And we have Phil Foden at, at that. So, I mean, it's pretty cool that we have both Foden and Mount. It's really cool that we that we did that. So, let's see what we do get for the deal. Is, it a, is this an A or a B? I think the asking price was really high. And yeah, we do get an A. So, 75.5 was the best possible deal. But, you know, I, I really don't care. We still get an A. And um, I also want to buy this guy. And what's his face? Idrissa Kofi. For like a substitute defender he's 20 he's 84 i think he's also a a a, a region probably the koulibaly region so in fact he is a koulibaly region from senegal he's really he's really good at, at 20 so i'm going to approach him for 
for now transfer I, I didn't even see how much i should have given for him but i'm just going to go with 50 off the bat and let's see what i can do with this so they want um 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 tomiyasu not going to not going to do that let's just give them their 50 million back or let's take it up to 52 like i did with the making mouth deal and no salon clause let's see what they say they want a salon clause all right so i'm, I'm good with seven percent salon clause all right so that is the deal done so now let's go straight into the negotiations with the player i, I don't even know what his name idris akofi i think that was his name yeah idris akofi so rotation obviously then i feel like this guy might actually become a beast at the later part of the season five years no release clause and then for his wages uh i think i'll go with 50, whoops, 50 million as well we actually have a lot to offer god damn all right so that's reasonable i like his hair as well i don't know why that hair is not like available for create for, for creating players it's kind of stupid it's only available on pro clubs and i do not like that so that's a new player on the team is it, is it an a deal a b deal probably an a i feel like we did really well in this deal from the start yeah i did not see if it was an a or not my bad and it doesn't show here does it no it doesn't all right so so karim and me missing mount and kofi those are the three players that i brought into our team i wanted to buy this guy for for um yeah, I actually completely forgot about this guy to be honest so I i'm just going to do that now i'm not going to delegate though um asking price is 90 so i'm going to start with 70. i'm going to start with 70 and sell on clause of 15. that's really really large but most likely not going to be all right so they go for 78 let's try and round it up at 75. let's hope that they are not stubborn about this and yeah, that's the original offer. It's a 75. And then straight into his wages. I think this is the last episode. Sorry, this is the last um, transfer I'll be doing for this episode. And then I'll work with the team. I'll work on the team management and then I'll end the episode for now. So rotation, obviously. Then five years, I guess. That'll be good. And then release clause, no release clause. Release clauses have been the death of me. I mean, you just sold one of my best defenders to God knows where. Like, I, 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 I didn't even notice it happened. And it just happened just like that. So, and with the fact that I'm simulating through the um, dates, just made it impossible for me to know that uh, it happened. So, that was, that was fucked up. Alright, so I... Okay, why why is he getting this kind of cutting? Is he like a star player or something? I mean, we have fucking German and we say and fucking Foden in the team, so don't know why the hell he is um, getting that cutting. It's a B. I could have saved a, a, a couple more. Oh, well, I I guess I could have done a lot better with that deal, to be honest. But I really don't care. I really don't care. All right, so the rest of these players, I'm just going to leave them on the starting eleven. I don't know why the fuck Kamavinga did not want to come to our team. It's, that's sad. So, um, yeah, this is what the squad looks like now. Mr. Ramos, you're going to get the fuck out now. And then... Oh, I sold, I sold that guy. Zach Stevens, so... Um, I might need to get a, a new keeper. I'm, I'm not going to get that guy, though. I think I'm going to risk, um... You know what? Yeah, no, that's a dumb thing to do. That's a really fucking dumb thing to do. So, bring Kofi in here. And I think... Yeah, you're not supposed to be here though, are you? Alright, I think, I think I am good with that. I'm good with this, yes. So... Hmm. This is good. And this will be the end of the episode. Um, if you guys have enjoyed it, I mean, it's just transfers that we've done so far. We played Real Madrid, we beat them. But anyway, if you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh, we fell apart just in time. You said at least it was fun.